In a distant corner of Asia, shrouded in the mystique of ancient traditions and nestled amidst mist-covered mountains, lived a young girl named May. Her life was marked by a mysterious and haunting destiny, one that would weave its threads into the tapestry of her existence from the moment of her birth. May was born on a night when the moon hung low in the sky, casting an otherworldly glow upon the earth. Her arrival was accompanied by a profound sense of foreboding, as the village elders whispered tales of a prophecy that had been passed down through generations. It was said that May was destined to be pursued by death itself, a relentless specter that would chase her throughout her life. As May grew, she became aware of the strange circumstances surrounding her birth. She would overhear hushed conversations among the villagers, their eyes filled with a mixture of fear and reverence. They believed that May possessed a unique ability, a gift or curse depending on one's perspective, that allowed her to evade death's grasp. The specter of death was an ever-present shadow in May's life. It manifested as a dark, shapeless figure, often glimpsed in the corners of her vision or lurking in the periphery of her dreams. It was a silent and relentless pursuer, a force that seemed to defy the natural order of life. Despite the ominous presence that hung over her, May grew to be a resilient and determined young woman. She embraced her life in the village, finding solace in the beauty of the misty mountains and the traditions of her ancestors. May was known for her kindness and compassion, and she would often lend a helping hand to those in need, believing that her actions could somehow balance the scales between life and death. One fateful day, as the village was engulfed in a thick, swirling fog, May had a vision. In a dreamlike trance, she saw herself running through a dense forest with death's specter in relentless pursuit. The vision was vivid and unsettling, and May knew that it held a deeper meaning. Driven by an inexplicable urge, May embarked on a journey into the mysterious forest of her dream. It was a place rumored to be inhabited by ancient spirits and hidden truths. With each step deeper into the woods, the air grew thicker with magic, and May felt as though she was crossing the threshold into a world that existed beyond the realm of the living. As May ventured further into the forest, she encountered enigmatic beings who seemed to possess knowledge of her destiny. They spoke in riddles and cryptic phrases, guiding her through the labyrinthine paths of the woods. It was as if the forest itself was alive, its secrets and mysteries unfurling before her like petals of a mystical flower. In the heart of the forest, May faced a pivotal moment of reckoning. She found herself standing on the precipice of a cliff, overlooking a churning river that flowed with an otherworldly glow. Death's specter loomed ever closer, its presence now palpable and menacing. It was then that May made a choice that would forever alter the course of her destiny. With unwavering resolve, she leaped from the cliff, plunging into the iridescent river below. As she was engulfed by the waters, she felt a profound sense of transformation, as if she had crossed into another realm. In the depths of the river, May's consciousness expanded beyond the confines of her physical form. She saw glimpses of lives lived and lives yet to be, each one interconnected like the intricate threads of a vast tapestry. It was a revelation, a realization that her destiny was not just a curse to be evaded, but a cosmic thread woven into the fabric of existence. When May emerged from the river, she was reborn, her spirit renewed, and her connection to life and death forever changed. She had transcended her fear of death and embraced it as an integral part of the cycle of life. The specter that had pursued her for so long had transformed into a guardian, a silent witness to her journey of self-discovery. May returned to her village, forever altered by her mystical journey. She shared her experiences with the villagers, teaching them to embrace life's fleeting beauty and to find solace in the inevitable embrace of death. Her story became a source of inspiration, and the specter of death was no longer feared, but revered as a reminder of life's preciousness. 
And so, in the misty mountains of a distant corner of Asia, lived a young girl named May. Her life had been marked by a mysterious destiny, one that had led her on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. May had run from death only to discover that it was an inseparable part of life's grand tapestry, a force to be respected and honored as part of the natural order of existence.